It's Gem City Tonight with Andrew Medikaitis. Featuring music director Jay Stanton. Tonight's guest, health specialist Stephanie Herring. Talk show host from WHIO Radio, Todd Holtz. And now, here's your host, Andrew Mitikaitis. All right! Woo! I'm gonna slide out of there one day and just go into the other curtain. It's just, it's like inevitable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gen City Tonight. I am Andrew Medikaitis, and you're not. Sorry, it's an, old, it's an old Chevy Chase joke from Saturday Night Live. Eh, I wanted to do it. I've been watching Christmas Vacation forever, so I had to do it over the holidays. So, yeah, this is Gem City Tonight, and I can officially actually say it, award-winning Gem City Tonight. Yeah. I'm like, you guys know there's other shit on TV, right? Like, <laughs> you can totally... No, no, it's, no, it's an, an absolute honor. Um, but before I jump on what that is, I want to talk about Lowell, our director. Lowell Wagner is an amazing guy. He just got the Roxy Cole Award uh, for years of putting up with me. Uh, <laughs> no, it's years of Dayton Music Scene, which is an amazing program. Um, this show and everything he's done. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And then uh, even though the award might have my name on it for producer of the year, I, there's no, the purple, purple, for people scrolling this, everyone who's been a part of it, writing the jokes, a little editing, like, it might be my name, but it's not. This is a team effort, and I cannot thank you guys so much for everything you've done. So thank you. Thank you so, so much. So, anyway, let's get to the jokes. If you've survived New Year's, and thank you for watching this, because clearly you did, obviously it was nice, everyone was well lubricated. I mean, that's the, that's, that's the holidays, but actually, ironically enough, not the booziest holiday. You want to take a get? I know, right? You want to take a get? No. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Yeah. On New Year's, the average per drink is four and a half, uh, with no food and one roofie. But at Mardi Gras, <laughs> at Mardi Gras, I know they're bad. I know they're. I just walk out of frame the entire time. But then at Mardi Gras, it's five and a half, no food and six beads. There it is, there it is. Oh God, no beads, no shocker. Anyway, actually if you look at the other holidays, they topped out at St. Patty's Day, 4th of July, and my first wedding. Sing. That's when we need a rim shot. There we go. But yes, it is 2020. Actually, we're actually filming this in 2019, which makes it even funnier. But, but so it's messing me up, more than two white claws. That's two shows in a row that we've mentioned White Claws. I think we need a new sponsor. Uh, yeah, it really is. I think we need a new sponsor. Well, on the last show we talked about how it was the Roaring Twenties, and I'm sure everyone on New Year's Eve got Gatsby'd, which is totally fine. And, you know, if you didn't fall in love with Daisy, it's not my fault. See, it's like a lit joke. You gotta, like, sell the lit joke. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but one of the things we're gonna talk about is many people do what's called a dry January. Many people do. I don't. Don't look at me. I don't. I don't. Not even go. Like, what? No. But anyway, we have somebody on the show tonight who's really going to talk about some of the great information that she's going to talk about. You know, restarting your, like, your health clock and ways you can keep your resolutions and so forth and getting back on track. So dry January is great. According to the USDA dietary guidelines, I did learn this. This is weird because they think it's the norm. I don't know what normal is. It's up to one drink per day for women, two for men, while the NIAA, they didn't tell me what that is, they're all smarter than me, defines low risk as seven or more drinks per week for a woman. Wow. Yeah, or one, like obviously one a day, or you can have three in a night. But they were like, well, you're gonna get worried because once you like, start not drinking all through January, you might, you know, they say, they don't call it detoxing, but you might go through some things. And I'm, now I'm quoting, most people are going to think of it like, kind of like a hangover, but you'll get sweating, Seizures and explosive diarrhea. Oh my. <laughs> what the hell are you people drinking? 
Are you kidding? Is it the stuff they clean combs with? What are you drinking, people? I'm just doing vodka and bourbon shots. What are you? This is ridiculous. Oh. Expl There's two words that I never want in the same sentence. Explosive and diarrhea. I know, right? Oh. Mm. Yo, girl. Anyway, but... Yes, obviously, a dry January does. It's good for general health. You sleep better, boost your immune system, you lose weight. So good for you people. So it helps your life get back on track. I hear. I don't know. Thank God for Uber. Speaking of getting back on track, I guess we impeached Donald Trump. I guess that happened. I guess that just happened. And not that I'm, I, I take a side. And I guess you've been living under a rock or in North Dakota, the least interesting of the Dakotas. And, and a lot of people don't know that impeaching him actually doesn't mean that he leaves office. It's actually like, yeah, he'll continue to be president, which is totally fine, whatever. Like I said, we don't take a, we don't take a side on the show at all. That's not what we do. But they actually, what they call it in impeachment is the calling into question of the integrity or validity of someone or something. That's it. That's all, that's all it was. Okay. Now, not hard. Should have been easy. The other interesting fact is uh, we've actually had more people be assassinated than be impeached. Yeah, we've had four people be assassinated. Which also, James A. Garfield wouldn't shut up. <sighs> so, I don't know none of his relatives. I can make these jokes. Um, he didn't have Twitter. Do you think, Gar you think Garfield Grumpy Cat and Garfield, like James A. Garfield, would fight over Twitter names? That was a really bad joke. That was off. The, that was right off the cuff. That was just a bad joke. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. Anyway, there have actually been two impeachments prior to this. One actually was Clinton, and everyone thinks the other was Nixon, but it's not. You know who it was? Take a, take a guess. Anybody in the audience? Anybody know? Andrew Johnson. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't Nixon. It wasn't. There's no joke for that. I just wanted to do that on camera. That's all I wanted to do. I, that, was, that was it. But anyway, yeah, it turns out that Johnson was in violation of the Tenure of Office Act passed by Congress in 1867. So over his veto, I guess, specifically, he removed a guy named Edward Stanton. I was going to say, like, you got a guy? You got a guy. And then it replaced him with uh, a Major General Lorenzo Thomas. There's no joke to that. That was it. That was the whole thing. I don't even... But yes, I... I that, wow. It fell flatter than my ass. That was ridiculous. Oh, anyway. But yes, no, Lorenzo, it, we, everything's a two. It was so forward or whatever. Now he was born in Delaware. Ah. It's as wide as can be. Anyway, yes, so the present stays what it is. And we get back to, you know, life as so forth. But actually, I want to talk about the one thing that it's on everyone's mind right now. Who's going to do the halftime show at the Super Bowl? Oh. Who's going to do it? I'm getting J-Lo, Kiss. Kiss is on some world tour. And they're like, hey, it's our last tour. It lasts seven and a half years. It's like, are you kidding me? Gene, it's like Gene couldn't get enough. Anyway, so fun fact about the NFL is it winds down and comes to a close. With two games remaining, the Browns actually still have a shot at the playoffs. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Have a shot at the playoffs. So here's what I need. There's three things that need to happen. The Browns need to win their last two games. Yep. Steelers need to lose their last two games. And Miles Garrett needs to knock out the entire Tennessee Titans with his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting letters. That could be a thing. We're, get, we're getting letters for that one. Anyway, last year it was what, Maroon 5? Yeah? yeah. And Adam Levine showing his flash sheet tattooed tummy. Oh, yeah. He looks like a bunch of refrigerator magnets. And kind of. Just, well, let's just put one here. Wow, John's just. Yeah, yeah. Shots across the. Uh, yeah. Shots <laughs> across the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay. Uh, I'm just Fine saying, I'm just saying. Well, whatever. As soon as he took his shirt off, even I put my chips and dip down. Are you kidding me? Uh, well. I was like, oh, bastard. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Every woman in America, and or guy for that matter, uh, yeah. whatever. Anyway, he could have been singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. No one would have noticed. Yeah. Not a clue. Nope. Just been Prince covers the entire time. Uh, well, it's good to know whoever they pick, they can't make it worse than whatever the, all of 2019 was. So, 
It was a tumultuous year, not just for Dayton, because we went through a lot, and we've come out the other side stronger and better. So that's why I love this city. So yes. So, but 2019 was bad, but it wasn't as bad. And this is what I'm going to end on. I love this one. I don't know if you heard the story. Two Carnival cruise ships actually collided in, Kaz in the port of Cozumel. What? Yeah. yeah. Doing millions of dollars of damage and actually injuring six people. All six people are good, thank God. That's yep. awesome. Yep. Released in the hospital. But in the interview, the guy actually admits the night before, reportedly, he watched Titanic. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Putting so that I guess there in the, universe. the best defense is a good <laughs> offense. Like, whatever. Yeah. All right. We got a great show for you. <laughs> Stick around for more Gem City tonight. January, eight yeah. days in. You believe it's 2020? Cold. Cold, cold. awful. It's so 2020. Cold. It's so cold. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I graduated high school in 03 and you graduated in 45? Yeah, yeah, something yeah, like okay, that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. He's gonna, he, who, you? 99, when did you graduate? 88. 88? 87. 95. Oh, you haven't graduated high school yet, that's right. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, seriously, when did you graduate? 87. Okay. All right. I was three. Yeah, right. Nice. I still had this I hair, too. I could have babysat you. <laughs> that got creepy you fast. Been my, you could have been my prom night dumpster baby. Whoa! 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 Oh, sorry. That was a family guy. I know. Prom night dumpster baby. <laughs> very oh, yeah. Sorry. I know what it is. Very sorry. I do, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. We're, we get, like, three bleeps. We just use them in one exactly. sentence. Exactly. Thank you. Is there a cough button around here? <laughs> It's the, no, unfortunately not. So uh, what I was getting at is, uh, it's, we're already into January. We were talked about resolutions, the last one. Have you kept your resolutions? We were Absolutely, talking about- Absolutely, I had no resolutions. <laughs> so you've kept them all, by Absolutely. definition. Absolutely. No, really, truly, I, I think this year I'm going to work on, um, I don't know. I have no idea. Probably, probably just continuing to be nice to people and do good work. You do that already. Well, but like you know, you're an amazing more guy. of that, more of the same. I wonder why we're friends. You're an amazing guy. <laughs> well, it's crazy. Touche. Have you, have you? Did you? Are you doing the? We talked about the dry January. Are you doing the dry January thing? Yeah, actually, I'm kind of dry anyway. I mean, I, I don't not drink, but I'm I'm just not. Alcohol doesn't agree with me. I mean, really. You have a glass of champagne next year, really. Well, yes, and it's still <laughs> it's still mostly full. I like to sip at it. That's fine. That's right. I, yeah. So I, uh, I made the resolution to, um, I wanted to be more active in the community. I mean, I already do obviously yeah. a lot of suicide Again. awareness and right. the show and so forth, but everything, but like, and I, I, like I said, last episode, go back to the gym, have some of that yeah, and right. do that. And that's been happening. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I need to eat healthier. I'll admit it. I do eat like chicken and rice and vegetables or whatever, but like on, it's on rotation. Sure. I need like, Back it, away from the ho-hos. Is kale a thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, yeah no, it's a garnish. God. I don't know how we moved from eating the garnish at the salad bar, but we did. Kale's gross. It's horrible. Is it? We, have, we actually have an expert in the audience. We're going to talk about this. Is kale a thing? Absolutely. It's a dream. Oh, God. It's a dream. Oh, it tastes, oh, it tastes like feet. Kale. It tastes like kale. Oh. That's right. Uh, my producer put this back here. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we won producer of the year. Yes. This is this is the thing. This is crazy. I don't. It's well no, deserved. I don't know. Oh, stop it. Stop. No, like I said, this is this is for my team. This is for you guys. Thank you guys so much. And and then and it's really for Jackie because right now she's running all three cameras by herself. Yeah. Yay, Jackie! <laughs> the woman is amazing. Yeah. Uh, so. So, 2020 question, what do you think's going to happen with the election and everything? We talked about, you know, everything in the foreign. Do you think it's Trump's going to stay in office? What do you think is going to happen? I really, I don't even want to think about it. 
I truly don't. I, it was, I was so uh, amazed at what happened in 2016. Um, True. That, you know, it's almost like if I was going to hedge my bets, I'd probably say, well, he's going to get it for another four years. Um, Who do you think the Democrats uh, have for a front runner? We don't do a lot of politics on this show. No, we I don't. Legitimately want to ask. I, you know, I don't know. It's it's Buttigieg and and Warren and Sanders and and Biden and they all kind of depends on the week and the poll. It's like a clown car of Democrats. Yeah, absolutely. Just, oh, yeah, just really. Like stalls out. The convention's going to be forty-seven days long. <laughs> it actually started three days ago. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> so we have uh, great guests tonight. With uh, Stephanie, we're going to talk about some healthy choices. Yeah. Uh, uh, WHIO Radio, Don. Oh, right on. Yeah, he's on the show. Very That's nice. It's going to be fun tonight. Very nice. So, all Ohio people tonight, even better. I love it. Wait, are you from here? Okay, I'm a liar. Yeah. Where are you from? Southern California, I'm from Indiana, Ohio. Oh, my God. Uh, so yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Oh, so stop. stop it. Stop it. it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We're just, I'm just, I'm just waxing poetically. Yes. We got to jump into it. Um, we'll be right back with more Jim Study tonight. like this. My friends were slowly going away. They found other people. And their world was slowly revolving around me. With my classes becoming harder and harder, and the constant stress of applying to college, it seemed like suicide was the answer to all of this. It was so easy to do, right there, right there and then. I could have done it, but someone reached out to me. This person actually cared for me, talked to me, and understood me. Suicide is never the answer. Know the signs, find the words, and reach out. That's like full body piano. You right? couldn't, <laughs> did, did we catch that? That's full body piano. All right, my next guest is, first off, a f great friend, an amazing person, but she has so much insight, she's been through so much, and she's gonna share a lot of this. So put your hands together for Stephanie Ehring. <laughs> Like your full body is like a thing. You're like Liberace, only hotter. <laughs> oh, all right. I have my notes. And okay. I know, I, you have I your have notes. I have a few here just in it's case. Fine. Yes. Totally fine. We might get off topic, you know. Us? It, what? It's never happened. Never. First off, thank you for being on the show. Yes, thanks for having me. I'm really excited. So, are, are you excited for 2020, though? I am. Um, I'm one of those really sentimental, romantic about life people that, you know, it's a new year, fresh start, good time to make changes. So, absolutely. How about you? I don't know. This whole Gatsby thing is, I don't know. I had a pretty rough New Year's, I'll admit it. Someone kept my glass out of hole in it. I don't know how. I just kept getting empty. It was crazy. But no, I'm looking forward to it. But like I said, we were talking earlier about the people who do the dry January and whatever, mm -hmm. like healthy stuff. So, you have a unique story, which is why I wanted you on the show. Sure. So, a little background on you. Mm -hmm. You, how many years ago were you? Um, about seven years ago. Okay, I'll let you take so, it away. Okay, yeah, so been an athlete my whole life, always healthy, always fit. Um, then 30 hits and everything goes downhill. Everything goes south. Everything goes south. The hair, the credit score. Everything. Um, and I was diagnosed with an autoimmune and some chronic illnesses. And I had to reevaluate what healthy actually meant and had to learn a lot of new things in order to actually have a healthy life and enjoy living again. So when you found out, like, I assume you tried 
multiple things. Oh, yeah. And then you stumbled into like the healthier lifestyle and so sure. forth. So what was working? What did you notice that was working for you? Uh, well, first of all, the thing that doctors always do, I shouldn't say all, but um, they just wanted to give me a handful of prescriptions. They gave me about six of them and said, here, this one fixes the symptoms and that one that. And I said, there has to be a better way. Right. Um, so just started looking at food and actually what's in our food system and how we go through our everyday life. Um, and every little thing that we do affects our entire mind, body, and soul, and our healthiness. So for those who are watching right now, and we're going to get into I know you have a list of 10 things, which I love. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. But for those we were talking about resolutions and so forth, for yes, those, yes. those who have already broken them. Right. I it's mean, January 8th. Odds are most people have already broken the resolutions that they set off to do. That's just how it goes. I did it at 12.05. So <laughs> I, yeah, so. Yeah. What do you? What would you say to somebody like to help like do? Yeah, not um, get it back. But we were talking earlier, the way people think of healthy. Yeah, sure. So most people do the whole New Year's resolution thing and think if I diet, if I lose weight, I'll be happier and healthier. And truth is, dieting and losing weight is not going to make you healthier or happier. Um, we know that, and it's just going to lead to cheating or misstepping and then you feel worse and go back 10 steps, which is where most people are right now already. So so what would you say to someone watching this? How to either get on track, get back on yeah, track? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I think those things start with more than just trying to look at a number and things um, to do just to get thin. That's not what it's about. It's finding that healthy relationship with yourself better you and you. food, right. Um, if you're always thinking about food, that's a problem. You haven't given yourself permission to have a relationship with food and yourself. That's an interesting word. So the first thing you need to do if really um, healthier and losing weight is your goal is to give yourself permission to have a good relationship with food. That's a specific word to use. Why is that so... Because I now hearing it out loud, I'm like, yeah, I can. I'm... That's exactly it. Yeah. Okay. It's That's... permission. We tell ourselves we can't have food, we can't enjoy food, we can't enjoy drinks, but in reality, you should. Our whole world these days is about food and drinks and foodies and people, and that's what we do for everything in the American culture. Every life step involves food and drink with people. Interesting. And so when you tell yourself you can't have that or you don't have permission to enjoy it, you fight that every day, every event, every life interaction. Interesting. <laughs> permission. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. So, all right, well, you have a list of stuff to, we're going to get yes. to. So stick around. Absolutely. All right, we'll be right back with more Gem City tonight. <laughs> back with more Gem City tonight. So I'm still, I'm still hung up on this, like giving yourself permission. I love that. That's 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 really interesting to me. So I've never actually heard a phrase like that. It was course, a hard lesson. This is, this is why you, you know, do this. Yes. So. It's hard for me though. I mean, I still struggle with it every day and this is what I do, so Touché. yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that we were talking about earlier is like having, you know, you hear people say like, like if you want to conquer the day, get up and do one thing. Yeah. Like make your bed or whatever. Right. And, which I don't do, it's not even a question of it. That must be why you're unsuccessful. I, I know, I'm annoying. <laughs> it, it sucks, it really, it's really awful. I no motivation, I, I, awful. Yeah, it's, it's so bad, I don't know why. <laughs> totally kidding. Hugely unsuccessful. Totally kidding. Um, so we were talking about healthy habits snowballing. So talk about that. Yeah, um, just starting one habit a day um, let's say, you know, people go, I'm going to do keto. I'm going to do intermittent fasting. I'm not going to eat for eight hours. And stuff. it's huge things that are not attainable. Um, so start with, I'm going to drink eight glasses of water today. 
And by the end of 10 days <laughs> and drinking eight I glasses of water, your body will feel so much better that it's going to be easier to take on more healthy habits. So yeah. choosing to be healthier is a snowball effect. And just starting first with one little thing for a couple weeks will help snowball into healthier living. Interesting. See? Yes. Pieces. It's yeah. Little little pieces. It's the old adage. How do you eat an elephant? One, one bite, bite at, at a time. time. <laughs> John's spilling his champagne. <laughs> That's alcohol abuse. You're literally not even in the, there he is, now he's back. Hey, he's back. I'm drinking water. So uh, you, uh, there's a list I do. You I want to get to. You can, you okay, can, you I'm, can I'm cheating, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cheat, um, you see even the, though I know them. Um, I, I do it <laughs> right. all the time. Um, it's just a top 10 countdown of things to do every day, and it might seem really daunting at first that I'm gonna give you 10 things that I say to try, um, but really three or four of them can be done at the same time. Okay. So it doesn't end up being so much, um, but if it still is daunting, pick one to do every day. Do that for two weeks and then start adding them in. So we'll start at number 10, okay. um, which is 10 minutes outside every day, even if it's that cold. That sound hard. That doesn't count in your car. Oh, this is impossible. <laughs> this, is, this is 10 minutes. Boo. <laughs> Damn it. All right. So, but, but that could mean parking at the back of the parking lot and walking, and walking in versus parking close up. We say 10 sure. minutes every day because especially in the winter, the vitamin D from the sun that you're not getting um, leads to feeling sad, depressed, anxiety, mental fogginess. So it's called, just- It's called sad. It's called a season, of, season effectal disorder? Yes, yes, Yeah. yes. Um, so just 10 books. minutes a day outside is a great first start. Um, the next one is 9,000 steps a day, which really just means try to be active. Or the- the Tibetan hills of the Himalayas. Are you what the heck? Well, that would 9, be like 30,000 steps? steps a day. To be fair, I'm a teacher and I get maybe 5,000 a day. But if we do our 10 minute walk outside, there we get our extra steps on top of our regular What's eight? day. Go to eight. <laughs> eight is eight hours of sleep. Ooh. That's a tough one, but people underestimate Does how drunk important passed sleep out is. count? I'm, I'll give you. I'll give you a buy on that. One. I got twelve hours yeah. of sleep. I'll give you a buy. I'll give you a buy. Um, your body needs time to regenerate. This is true. This is true. Sleeping time so, is healing time. Sleeping time is absolutely mm -hmm. healing time. Um, and I'm we, now gonna make you. I'm now gonna make I'm you so that shirt. I'm so good at healing. Sleeping time is healing time. I'm gonna make you that shirt. Well, they use sleep deprivation as torture for, you know. Touché. So, let's okay. let's work on sleeping. All let's, right. Where are we at? Six. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Seven glasses of water. All right. I, I got think that. that counts as two. I got. I mean, even though it's what a white claw seltzer water, I'm not sure. That, that counts, no, that, that's but, actually water. But that's Does that count? I don't know. No, that's actually water, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Seven, so seven glasses in a lot. That's seven glasses of water. Eight ounces. Have one in the morning, at night, and with every meal, and you're almost there. Okay. So, um, six is six minutes of meditation and mindfulness or thankfulness a day. So just six minutes of sitting there and giving yourself positive vibes or writing down things that you're thankful for. No phone, no nothing. Nope, just sit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just a time to reset your body for the day. We get going, 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 going. It's a fast-paced world. Yeah. Taking that time is really about breathing, and our body does better when we have oxygen. And six minutes sounds like so, like a lot, but it's really not. It's really not. This, all right, so this second segment where it... Five minutes. Right. And it's just, but how about, can you do music to it? If that's part of your meditation, See, absolutely. I'm such a, you know, you're like me. I'm a, such a music guy. Yeah. So. I, I would say try to work into just some silence, but I've never if music been, is what I've calms you, done. then take that as your six minutes of meditation. So okay. make it a habit, set it on your alarm clock. Okay. So that it happens every day, same time, you know that's when your six minutes of mindfulness is. What's five? Five is fruits and vegetables. Try and eat five fruits and vegetables This is what I said. This is what I said. Um, Plant-based diets are really big. Whole foods are big. Mother trucker. <laughs> we were talking about kale earlier. It's gross. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna make kale chips and you will enjoy them, I promise. I, I promise. We'll do this. Challenge accepted. Yes, we will make kale chips. All right, four. Okay. Um, but fruits and vegetables, let me give you a cheat. I'm always busy, so my freezer is stocked with, um, I think they're like a dollar, two dollars a bag of frozen vegetables. Throw them in, throw some spaghetti sauce on there and your pasta, done. There's two to three servings of vegetables taken care like, of right I there. I do like uh, lima beans. No, not, uh, um, Brussels sprouts, Brussels oh, sprouts. Brussels sprouts, yeah. okay. I love Brussels sprouts. 
All right, all right. Okay, uh, four is breaks. Um, so take four breaks throughout the day. Just a three minute, stop whatever you're, you're doing. You're a lot of my time through the time. I okay. am, but two yeah, of those, stuff. Two, I know, of those I, I know. two of those three minutes can be your mindfulness and your thankfulness. So now we've Oh, I see together. what you did. See? Look at you so with the hair and the eyes and the stopping during the thing. your day and just going, you know what? I'm thankful to be alive. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm healthy. I'm happy. And I love it. done. Back on to your next task. Okay. Two, Two is this one's going to be bad. Okay. This is bad. This is a hard one. No phone for two hours before bed. Not even going to happen. Not even, I can't even get anywhere near that. I, there's not even close. There's no uh, way. So we know the lights. Uh, the blue light and the phone, all yeah, of that affects you. Um, but also it keeps your mind going. So instead, to wean yourself, maybe TV or a movie, and okay, then eventually getting to like, a book or quietness. I do like books. I, I'm, a, I'm a Shakespeare nerd. Oh, I'm, I do love Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. so. Th that's okay. a great start. So if you okay. have to have something, move to TV. Um, the other part of that is two workouts a week. Twice a week, try and sweat. Really sweat for 30 minutes. Um, sweating helps us release oxytocin which is that feel-good chemical that she's makes using, us She's in using love. big words again. <laughs> she's using big words. Okay. Okay, and then we are down to number one, which is um, at least one physical activity a day, which can be your 10 minutes of walking outside. So one physical activity um, just to move and get your blood going. So, you know, that could be hanky-panky. It could be whatever you want. See, but I was like, I didn't, I, already I, said I didn't say anything. I didn't say <laughs> I said nothing. We saw and the dawn. And then your three minutes after is, you know, your mindfulness, your thankfulness. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm doing like and six things at once. Jesus. So that's what I said. It, ten seems daunting, but if you think about it, you can get them all together. All right. I love it. Really? So that list, uh, for our viewers, that list yes. is going to be available on our website. Okay. So they can do it. Um, sure. And then you do, s real quick, because... We're running yeah, out of time. We're, but yeah. you do so much, like you do essential oils, you do recipes, you mm -hmm. do stuff, or whatever. So how do we find you on social media that people can follow? Um, fond of Life is my business, um, just because I feel like if we're fond of life, we get healthy and happier. I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Find me there. I'm always giving tips um, just on how to be healthy. Perfect. Well, thank you for awesome. coming on the yeah, show. Yeah, thanks really so much. It. I appreciate right. it. We'll be right back with more Gym City tonight. I was not thinking that people ever did what? I totally was. I saw it on I your totally face. Was. I saw it. Like you said it, my brain was like. A diagnosis does not define me. And vision loss doesn't determine my character. It's our drive that shows who we are. And we are here to let those challenged with blinding retinal diseases know that we are driven too. To be a beacon of strength, a champion of courage, an advocate for hope. We fund. We fight. We, we win. win. We, we are the foundation fighting, fighting blindness. blindness. Join the fight at fightingblindness.org. Just play anything, I love it. You're all over the place, I love it. You're all over the map. All right, so I didn't know this. I literally learned this in the break. Uh, two things, you're gonna do Stephanie's list. Yeah, totally. Okay, and that's then Stephanie rhythm. and our next guest know each other. And there's a story, and that's totally coming up. <laughs> do me a favor, put your hands together for my next guest, uh, WHIO radio talk personality, Todd Holst. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Thanks Good for see. having me. Of course, please. From one host to another, welcome. Oh yeah, definitely. So, but see, I have a face for radio. You don't. You. Oh, I think I do. I know. I think I do. Close. So, um, start Ohio boy, born and raised. Right? Well, I uh, yeah, I was I was born actually in Cincinnati. Uh, I'm we don't adopted. Talk about that. No, <laughs> I'm adopted. My parents uh, who adopted me were from uh, Dayton. And uh, I grew up in Beaver Creek. Nice. You, yeah. uh, you were battling beaver? I was. I actually... I just uh, wanted to say that on camera. I actually dated the girl who wore the beaver suit. <laughs> I actually did. Yeah, I can't, she, was, I she can't. was the beaver I at can't. the football games. You can't... It's absolutely the truth. Kids yeah. watch this show. We need to just... No, they don't. <laughs> I'm the What's only, wrong with the mascot? I'm the only kid that watches this show. <laughs> 
Oh, it's wait, well, longer. you know. So you do a lot of things, but obviously let's, let's touch on the radio show. Well, I became very interested in radio when I was young, okay. and uh, I, I started actually working in radio in Dayton back at around 1990. I worked at a station that's no longer on the air, Z93. Wow, big, yeah. that's a blast from the big past. Top 40 radio that station. That was, <laughs> that was my first on-air gig. And then from there, I worked at a couple of other stations, Alternative Rock Station. And, uh, but I've worked now at WHIO three times in my career. So I've been there, left, come back, been there, you know, back and forth. So I'm here now. And I'm doing a uh, Sunday show on uh, WHIO from 6 to 8 p.m. And it's just a local talk show. Um, I don't really cover politics because uh, there's plenty of other places for that. True say. I just like talking about fun stuff that's going on. Like what? Uh, in the, well, one of the things, one of the themes on our show, uh, we keep track of the number of cars that crash into buildings in Dayton. That, I was going to touch on that. <laughs> why is this a thing? Well, First off, is... why is this happening in this city? Yeah. Second off, what? Well, I have my theories. It's, it really is a menace on the Miami Valley. Um, and I've looked around in other cities, and it, it happens from time to time. But we finished 2019 with over 100 cars or vehicles crashing into buildings. Now, my theory is this. What uh, is going on in this town? I, I think it's a couple of things. One, we have an aging population. And lots of times, they confuse the brake for the gas pedal. This has happened. Hell, I do that. And I think a great way to alleviate that, uh, to check people's reaction time. When they come in to get their license renewed, okay. when they're sitting there, getting their picture, somebody off to the side, just toss a Throw tennis ball at them. Yeah, and yeah. If they knock just throw it a out, tennis ball at them and yeah, see what if happens. If they knock it out of the way, you get your, you get your license. If you don't, back to the line. I, I would fail this after three white claws. <laughs> I got to stop talking about white claws. I the, would totally fail that. The other thing is that um, I think that we have widened a lot of roads in our community. And the thing is, is Probably due when to the you, size of cars. Well, you know, that and, and congestion. But, but here's the thing. When you widen the roads, you don't move the houses back. They actually get closer to the road. That's legit. So I'm amazed no one has like slammed into uh, Whitman's tailoring on 48. Give them time. It's right there. It's <laughs> right there. Give them time. There. Give them time. Yeah. So we 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 averaged uh, in 2018 we had exactly 100. Uh, 2019 it was I think it was 105, 106, and we averaged more than two a week. So it's it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and also cell phones and distractions and stuff like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. that's the that's, yeah. yeah, obvious. But we keep track of it. There's a, I did a theme song, a little parody song to uh, Live in La Vida Loca. It's uh, crashing into buildings of Dayton. It's, it's a beautiful thing. You should listen to it sometime. We need to upload that on the website. <laughs> we never need to do that. All right, I, what? Oh, okay. I didn't get my double coupons. <laughs> right. <laughs> Non-sequitur. Anything could well, cause it. I mean, and, it really and, could, uh, you know. I, all right. I, <laughs> we're going to stick around with you because you know uh, my first uh, my first guest. Oh, Stephanie, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to get to that she when we She wears come back. a mean quilt or uh, kilt. Kilt. <laughs> kilt or quilt. I don't know. I, I could be. I don't know. <laughs> She's got the legs for it. We'll be right back with more Jim City tonight. Yeah, that was like... Yeah, it's like my last, the second of last. Hiney, tushy, badonka call it what you want, but talk to your doctor, because the American Cancer Society says colon cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. I was diagnosed with colon cancer, but I might have avoided it completely if I just had my keister checked. So get off those juicy doubles and go get your rump shaker screened so you can say you literally saved your own a can we change Padonka Donk? All right, we're back with Jim City tonight. I'm still alarmed at the number of people who crash into buildings in the city. It is alarming. It is a menace. It's, I mean, it really is. Is there like a list? Like, do we top the list of other cities? I, I don't know. There is a list. I keep it, but I don't know how we compare to other cities in the entirety of it all. But we, we look, for a, a city the size of Dayton, two times per week, that's, that's, a, uh, lot. that's, a, that's a big average. That's you know? a lot. 
So, I'm gonna jump back. You know our first guest, Stephanie. Well, I do. You know, over the years, I've done a lot of uh, things in marketing and promotions. And uh, at one time, I was the vice president of the uh, Dayton Ballet uh, Bar Association. Okay. And years ago, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> years ago, the, uh, the the Dayton Ballet did the Who. Tommy's the Who. They mm -hmm. did a ballet to that. And uh, at the time, I was sort of uh, heading up the, the marketing and promotions for that particular group. And we did a British bash at the Taj Mahal mm -hmm. uh, here, or Taj Magraj, not the Taj Mahal. Uh, but here that would have been a hell of a party, though. Yes, it would have. <laughs> um, and that's how, I, that's how I met Stephanie. She was, uh, she was doing some catering, and she had a lot of great ideas for our event, and it was a, it was a big success. And uh, that's how I, I met Stephanie. And and I and I did mention earlier she uh, she looks great in a uh, kilt. Yes. Uh, but that particular night, and I still have the picture on on my uh, studio wall at home, and it drives my nut my wife nuts. Uh, Stephanie in a beautiful uh, British flag dress. Okay. And there's a, there was mention of a tattoo. We can't see the tattoo, but there's been mention of a. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're on before 11, so we, uh, we, <laughs> we, we can't see it. God save the queen. God save the queen. But, uh, yeah, so that's how we met. So we're going to play a game here, and we're going to actually bring Stephanie back in. But uh, come on in. Come in, darling. I didn't get a chance to ask so nice you. To see you Good today. seeing you. So uh, I'm going to ask you both uh, on the spot before we start playing. Uh -oh. Where is your zen place in Dayton? Where's your go-to? So, like, if you go mm. anywhere, you're sitting, eating, drinking, reading, where are you going? Stephanie, ladies first, I'll start with you. Um, boy, I'm a water person. Totally fine. So I love Caesar's Creek. I love all of that stuff. Anywhere that there's water. Love it. Huh? I, th I don't know that it's any place specific, but I really enjoy uh, antiquing with my wife. We like to drive around. And, it's the nerdiest uh, thing I've ever heard. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it is. It, it is, and it uh, keeps me out of trouble. Touche. <laughs> but it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, an, it's enjoyable, and that's what we like to do. All right. Yeah. How about you? I don't think I've ever had anybody ask me that, actually. Um, is it here? <laughs> it, this is a really good Zen place. Where am I going where I can... Where do you buy your White Claw? I... Maybe that's it. <laughs> Maybe that's, yeah, that could be. <laughs> the honk and holler? <laughs> the, the, yeah, the stop and rub. Yeah. Um, I do love the cemetery downtown. I, I actually, so fun fact, if we want to get kind of personal real quick, I, uh, I don't have any grandparents left. So, but they all happen to be buried at the same mausoleum oh. at David Cemetery. Yeah. And uh, I go and talk to them. Oh, that's very nice. So, actually, it, it's very cute, but because my, the original Andrew Medicitis actually died in 1969. And when you go in and you're like 18 years old and you walk into the mausoleum and on the wall it just says Andrew Medicitis, you're like, <laughs> what are you planning? What the hell is happening? But he was Andrew E, and I'm Andrew John, so it's that's that's my place. Also, Elsa's a bad ones. That's where on. I met my wife. Okay, see, it, there's just a thing, a couple chicken case ideas, a couple bad ones. It's, I did, yeah. That's my yeah. Zen place. All right, we're gonna play taboo. We played it on the show before. Only you're gonna be in charge. Okay. So you're gonna read it, and whoever gets it first gets the point. So read whatever side you want. I have not seen these. Contrary to popular belief, I have not seen these. So You're playing too, right? Oh, we're all playing. Uh -oh. So, all right. So there's a list of words underneath, and then there's a word on top. Yes. So what do I do? Read You're it. trying to describe the word on top without using the words underneath it. OK. All right. Get so it's kind of like charades a little bit yeah. with words. But yeah. Charades with words. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Yes. OK. Uh, at the end of the show, uh, we're uh, joyful and happy that things are... are Applause? Uh, that's it. Well, no. Uh, it's what you do. Clap your hands. That's right. Okay. All right. Uh, One to you. Let's see. Um, let's yes. see. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, cows come... Heard. Heard. They come running down the street, and you're like... Stampede. Hey, yep. Oh. Good. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, this is something you don't want anyone to know. Secret. That I was married. You keep it Secret. To, to yourself. It's uh, matter. Personal. It's, Private. Yep. 
Okay. I'm actually losing this game. I'm it's huge. It's over in Great Britain. It's Big Ben. No, it's out in the country. Uh, Stonehenge? Stonehenge. Yep. Very good. All right. You got one. Okay. So <laughs> finally got uh, one. you go over to the islands that are a state, and when you get off Lay. the plane, they give the, uh, you Mauna Loa. Lay. Lay. That's Lay. It, yeah. Yep. I okay. imagine I couldn't get the um, Lay. I mean. Great. Okay. Oh, this is the worst. You get them on the round thing that uh, Rash. comes from it <laughs> <laughs> comes from it comes from Italy. Uh, it's it has yeah it's on that Calvary. and they're, uh, it's the worst thing to get on it. Anchovies. Anchovies. Oh, Anchovies. <laughs> Pineapple. Pineapple. Get over. We're gonna get Pineapple. letters. We're gonna get letters. Oh, okay. Um, get so uh, the the, co the color uh, and it's not this color. Blonde. Yeah. Blonde. That's it. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's something in your body that you do not Blood. need. But, uh, uh, appendix. appendix. Yep. Very good. I don't have one. Okay, I'm just so drink and you guys. <laughs> some people, <laughs> some people don't think they're a flower. Sunflower, uh, data, uh, data line. That's it. Boom. Okay, <laughs> the Earl of Grantham. The Earl of. The sandwich. Yep. Got it. She had it first. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. In in the South, you would call this very wonderful instrument, this string Bejo. instrument, something. It's not a viola. Fiddle. Oh, it's a, uh, fiddle. Yep. Fiddle. Got it. it. Okay. Urgh, I'm going to crawl up a building and meet a woman. That's it. <laughs> that was King Kong going up the building. <laughs> And yeah, Godzilla even... crushed the buildings. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That wasn't a King Kong sound. I know. And this movie. Yeah. yeah it is was... French for Our Lady. Je vous la casse, casse quoi? Oh, no, I don't... It's also um, a college my dad went there. Notre Dame. That's it. Wow. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Uh, Okay, wow. We're never playing a game on the show ever again. Okay, this <laughs> is a, a lot of college kids got these. It's this thing that you can STD. fold down. I, I'm just going to say rash. The clap! That's it, it's the clap. It's the clap. Report cards. No, it's, 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 a, it's something that you would lay down on, but you'd also sit on it. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Even Jackie's getting That's these. Exactly I right. this is everyone's getting them but me. Well, Jackie's way smarter than me. Okay. The blank of liberty. Statue? Yep. That was a good one. Oh, this one's easy. Okay, so uh, Demi Demi Moore and Bruce Willis's daughter. Runner. Rumor. Rumor. Got it. Okay. I'm, I'm bad at like 200 it's, over It's here. in this your body. It is a, it Bourbon. is something that makes <laughs> the red stuff go around. It's uh, heart, circulation. Red stuff. Vein. You're, you're, keep going. There's, there's not, it's not just a vein. It's also, it could be. Uh, an aorta. Uh, close. Vessels. Close, no. Um, I'm an EMT. Uh, when you this paint, you're making. Art. Arteries. Arteries. That's it. Got it. Right on. We'll give that one a tie. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right, let's do, let's do two more. Okay, so two more. All right, good. So we've got, um, if you write a check and it's, Bounces? or no, you call the insurance company and you say your car got stolen, but it's, it wasn't insurance. stolen. Insurance. Uh, fraud. Well, that's it. Ha! There you got one, Not, see? I shouldn't know that. Okay. Uh, I got fraud got and statue. Fraud. Okay. Um, this is something when you're about to um, poop. You're gonna paint. You're gonna paint something, but you need to wipe the canvas, wipe the slate. Yeah, but but you need something with um, like pebbles on it that that scratch. Pebbles? What? Are, exfoliate. Like, no, you right? Yeah, but you, if you exfoliate the wood, what are you using? Sandpaper. That's it. Ding, ding, ding. Singer. This, Woo! we're never playing a game on this show ever right. again. All right. They can't walk in our shoes or when Are you it. kidding me? I think, I think White Claw and Operation should be the next game. Yes. Some White Claw. I was going to say White Operation, but that's yeah. not going to fly with anybody. White Claw and Twister. White Claw and Twister? Ooh. 
I think that's the next segment on the show. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more Gem City tonight because I have to lick my wounds because <laughs> I just got my butt kicked. We'll be right back. Wow. So, because Gem City tonight is so fluid uh, as it is, uh, we had a, a little cancellation. So we're going to have a little bit of fun, and I'm going to take this right out of James Lipton's playbook from Inside the Actor's Studio. Uh, I am still have with Stephanie and Todd with me, and John's going to play as well. It's the seven, by the way, great dinner conversation if you ever want to have it. It's the seven questions you should, and we, have, we are going to have to use a bleep, but we'll, I'll do it anyway. It's the seven questions you should always ask anybody, all right? John, I'll start with you. I will play as well. My answers will be fluid and free, just like normally, and we'll go from there. All right, Stephanie, what's your favorite word? On the spot, what is it? Leave. With an F? Yep. Got it. <laughs> uh, fuchsia. Babushka. Ostensibly. What's your least favorite word? Goodbye. Mm. Death. Uh, lie. Or no, actually, change mine. Mine's talk. Because any context, it's bad. Yeah. Moist. <laughs> oh, God. Bad. That's a great you The entire right. audience was just like, <laughs> 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 Okay, here's the three. Moist and crevice. <sighs> and panties. All three. Why are you saying them on air? Ah, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. For a boss. <laughs> Come quiet. I uh, know. Um, uh, what's your favorite smell? Okay. Uh, baking pecans. New car. Oh, rose. Okay, what's your least favorite smell? Um, cinnamon. My dog's vomit. Food. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. That cinnamon? <laughs> Are you just like fireball? Cinnamon? Yeah. Too much like Goldschlager and stuff. And oh, there it is. <laughs> now I can't see uh, it. Cat pee. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. That's yeah, crazy. like a pneumonia. Cilantro. So, oh, you're cilantro? Oh, yeah, I have that. Yeah. I have that. All right, uh, what's your favorite sound? You can say it. Naughty, naughty. That is a good sound. <laughs> My wife's voice. Aww. Uh, so my dog does this thing when he like shakes his head really like, like his, because he's a St. Bernard, and he has the jowl, so you hear that, like with his lips, <laughs> and it makes me laugh and giggle every time. <laughs> I really like uh, the sound like a fountain with the shh. Oh, yeah. Like, Ooh, yeah. To be fair, I do love my daughter's voice. Anything. I save all of her messages she leaves me on my phone. So that's probably more. You just went sexy and cute in the same 30 seconds. No. Uh, what's your least favorite sound? Um, chewing when people mm. eat. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, yeah. Uh, busy signal on the uh, phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, screeching tires. Mm. Oh, and me is somebody eating. The sound, oh. mouth sounds, yes. oh, it oh, gets me stabby. Yeah. Well, well um, we're going to have to probably bleep this or edit it. Uh, oh, no, what turns you on? I missed one, what turns you on? I don't count. Uh, vulnerability. Hmm. That's good. Uh, 
honesty. Yeah. Uh, touch. Like, just like mm -hmm. the hand on the leg or whatever, like, like a hug or whatever. Cleverness. Mm. Intelligence. Huh? What turns you <laughs> off? Lies. Lies. Meanness. Yeah. Like, like utter just for no reason meanness. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. You know, the, the asymmetric Bob, Karen. Yeah. You know, that kind of, you know. Oh, yeah. By the way, is there any person actually born Karen or they come out with three kids in minivan and wanting to talk to the manager? <laughs> is there anyone actually named and this Karen's as a kid? I know, I to love. Fair, my aunt's name is Karen. Touche. All my Karens are great. Without getting too, because it's, you know, right. favorite cuss word. Oh, I already told you. The yeah, F word. The F word. Yeah. Uh, shit. Mother ever. A duck. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, one event in history, public history, you wish it could change. Wow. Um, like change completely or change how it unfolded? Like mine's the Kennedy assassination. Mm. I don't know. There's so many things that I think are so important. I know, right? Like the, the butterfly effect thing is like, yeah. In, yeah. Um, the Citadel and when VMI, so I was one of the first 60 females accepted to VMI when they broke the male-female barrier. What? Oh Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. And I had such a love affair with that school up until that point, knowing that I could never go there. And I loved everything about their traditions. And I didn't think it was fair that we took away that history and that long-standing tradition just because some girl wanted to go and felt that it needed to make it even. There, there was no taking away from my feminism or rights because I couldn't go there. But of course, as soon as it was overturned, I was like, take me. But I just think some of those things that we do and overturn don't lead to really good things. Um, Interesting. Yes. I went to an all-male college, one of so, two all-male colleges yeah. left in the country, so. It, but there's such a rich tradition with that. That means so much. It, True. So, I don't know. Uh, probably Lincoln's assassination. Oh, Mine's yeah, Kennedy's. A good one. Trump's election. <laughs> True. Sorry, we don't talk about, but that's the truth. Yeah. And my last and favorite one. Assume you believe in it. What's God going to say to you when you get to heaven? I've always loved you and never left you. I really didn't like your show. <laughs> I'll go last. Go ahead. You're fat! No, I, I'd like to say, you gave, you, you used everything I gave you. Oh, that's so good. I love that. My answer has never changed in the, the first time I was given this, I was given it in New York, and in front of the, the Women's League of New York, and the woman who gave it to me was like 85 years old, and the first question was, what turns you on? And I go, you. She goes, what turns you off? And I went, you. You. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, well, I'll answer now. But my answer is, in the, in the entire time I've done this for like 10 years, I've met, my answer has never changed. He's going to look at me straight in the eye and be like, I had fun with you. <laughs> and that's it. That's the seven quid. Take that home. That's a, par that's a great game. Totally free and amazing. It was like Bernard Pivot, who was an amazing interviewer in France, came up with that quiz. So, all right. We'll be right back with more Jim City tonight. They're so like randomly out there. Right. Yeah. All right. So that's our show. First one in 2020. Love it. I want to thank Stephanie. I want to thank Todd. Obviously, John, my sidekick and much better half. I love it. I think it's going to be a great year. We've been so fortunate to be blessed and awarded and so forth. And I said we do it again next year. So remember, Dayton, you're not alone. And you never will be. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>